Our next artist, I'm sure you all know, is Jenin Wong. Jenin Wong is one of the world's finest artists, specializing in Chinese ink and oil paintings. He is ranked third on the 2020 Huron China Art List and 19th on the Huron Global List with his art sales of $29 million. Jenin Wong holds several positions. He is the director of the Chinese Traditional Cultural Promotion Association, oversees our general advisor for the Olympics cheer and organizing committee. He is a member of the French National Artists Committee, art consultant for the World Low Carbon Cities Alliance, and France Ginny City Gold Medal Honorary Citizen. He was awarded the title of Earl by the Indonesian Royal Family, which I am a member of, and he was just recently given honorary membership into the Royal Society of St. George. I might add that Mr. Jenin Wong has been an incredible supporter of the Lava movement, and we are very fortunate to have him with us, and we love his work. So tonight, he will be presented with a Lava Award, and Harrison and Mr. I come and sorry, we'll make that award. We are now going to call Mr. Jenin Wong. Congratulations, good to see you, congratulations. He's absolutely one of the most kind, brilliant individuals that you ever, ever know. And we're hoping he'll get here to the United States very soon. So hearty congratulations. We've <laughs> gotten to know him. Can you speak? Wang Lao Shi Kai Jiao Hama. Thank you. There he is. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Good to see you. Wow, from Beijing, guys. From Beijing. Yeah, from Beijing. Right up From Beijing, Beijing, China. China. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next three awards that we're going to give, uh, I will give your name first and read your bios, and then I'll ask you to come forward for the presentation, please. The first one is Mr. Todd Williamson. The second is Nissan Payang. And the third is Joe Davidson. So if you would allow me to read your bios and then come forward uh, to receive your award, that would be greatly appreciated. I've gotten to know Todd Williamson over the past few months, and I just love you. Beyond, you're just incredible. Todd Williamson is a Los Angeles-based contemporary artist. Currently, his work can be seen at George, is it Berger Gallery? Berger Gallery, with his solo exhibition, The Only Way Out is Through, which was listed by Artnet as an editor pick of the week. Williamson won the prestigious prize for creativity from the Polak Prancer Foundation in 2019 and was recognized as an official exhibition at the 58th Venice Biennial for his project. Professional, named by Forbes, Dominus, Wide Walls, and the Venice Insider as number one of the top ten shows not to be missed at the Biennial. His work has been seen in over 125 exhibitions worldwide and includes awards such as Special Artist Recognition Award from the Art Nonstop International Film Festival, Festival in Buenos Aires for a short documentary on him made by director Andrew Schwartz in 2020. A Special Mention Award by the MAVV Museum of Art and Wine Italy 2021, the Pollock Kreisner Foundation Award 2011-2012, Curator's Choice Award Micro Museum New York, Best Foreign Artist, Blu de Lu Milia, Sporta and Art Foundation, Italy. Artistic Merit Award, Art 1307, Naples, Italy. And two Art Slant Abstract Showcase Art Awards. Williamson has been a member of the Arts and Cultural Affairs Commission in West Hollywood, California for the past 10 years. Todd Williamson.
Misan Panyang was born in Indianapolis, Indiana, and she currently lives and works in Los Angeles, California. She received her fine arts degree from the University of California, Los Angeles. Her works have been exhibited at the Exploratorium Museum, San Francisco, California, the Torrance Art Museum, Torrance, California, and the Japanese American National Museum, Los Angeles, California. She is a recipient of the James Irvine Foundation's California New Visions Award, the Durfee Foundation's ARC Awards, and the Hans G. and Lourdes W. Burkhart Foundation Award, AHL Foundation Award, and the Beverly Allplay Award. Her public art commissions include the Meridian Hotel, Zing Zong China, Royal Caribbean International, Phoenix Biomedical University Campus, and many, many more. So this evening, we are presenting an award to the beautiful and talented Queen Song. Mr. Joe Davidson. Mr. Joe Davidson lives and works in Los Angeles, California. He is represented by Barbara Davis Gallery in Houston, Texas. He exhibits with Galleria Christopher Edwin in Copenhagen and is part of the Artist and Curator Collection Duran and Ray in Los Angeles. He received his MFA from the San Francisco Art Institute, San Francisco, California, and received his BFA Sculpture at the University of Massachusetts, Amherst, Massachusetts. He has exhibited throughout North America and Europe. Joe Davidson creates two and three dimensional work with, which employs the use of cast everyday objects and the use of repetitive gesture. His pieces are made up of cast multiples, sometimes cast in the thousands, that together create sculptural form intended to be much larger and more coherent than the mere sum of its part. Congratulations, Mr. Joe Davis. Would each one of you like to take your time and say a few words about your award? Thank you all so much. I really appreciate this. Uh, LABA is an important um, community uh, catalyst in many, many ways. And I think that uh, the work that they do with artists and bringing the community and the art together is so important. We have some competition there, Todd. Could you speak? Kind of to, yeah, I really do appreciate this. Thank you all so much. Uh, this, the, Karen and Joey have become dear friends of mine, and this organization is very important. I think the work you're doing is uh, very much a part of the way the world is moving forward. So uh, keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tom. Just wanted to give a. Um, a deep, deep appreciation for this award. I'm um, truly grateful and it was unexpected, so um, just from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And it's truly an uh, encouragement for artists to be uh, recognized and it gives so much um, strength and encouragement to continue um, making work. So I just want to thank you and I'm so grateful and so honored. Thank you. Hi everyone. Um, thank you. I'm very, very appreciative of this. It's really wonderful as an artist and as most artists you know we spend a lot of time by ourselves and we are in our heads an awful lot. So it's really wonderful to be able to get out and to celebrate and to work with an organization that is celebrating that. It's just celebrating the act of creativity and the power that it holds and how it can create small gestures which then go into larger gestures and much larger kind of endeavors. And so I'm very, very humbled and I'm very appreciative of this. So thank you very much. Congratulations to the three of you. Thank you so much. We have uh, two.
two people that have been supporting LABA since its inception. One is Paul Osterson and his beautiful wife, Karen Hahn. Karen Hahn is an Oscar winner musician for the music in the film, The Last Emperor. She is an internationally renowned, is it Erhu? Yes. Erhu Virtuoso composer and vocalist. The Erhu is a classical Chinese instrument with two strings, having all the tonal qualities of an actual violin. She has performed for four dignitaries, and she has played in many concerts throughout the world. Her recording accomplishments include Oscar-winning movies, television, radio programs, and several albums. She was the youngest person to ever receive a master's degree in performing arts with honors from China's Best Music Academy, the Central Conservatory of Music. The Academy Awards include top artists and first class Erhu Solis. So I'd like to have Karen please come forward. Thank you. Paul Otteson, her beautiful husband, so talented, is a three-time Oscar winner, sound mixer, and sound designer who has worked in over 150 films. Paul has won two Oscars for The Hurt Locker and one for Zero Dark Thirsty, and was nominated for a fourth for Spider-Man 2. He is also a filmmaker, member of the Academy of Motion Pictures, Cinema Audio Society, and MS MPSC. Paul was born in Sweden and came to the United States in 1987 as a musician. He soon turned out to be producing music and became a recording mixer, working recording several albums, movies, and commercial. Paul has also worked on other awards, including Emmy Award and a BAFTA Award for his work. I give you Mr. Paul Otteson. Thank you. We have two amazing presenters tonight. One is Mr. David Lau. He is the former mayor of City of Monterey Park, three terms, not one, not two, but three. He has a Master of Business Administration degree in Professional Management and a Bachelor of Science degree in Business and Administration. And Mr. Lau has over 30 years of diverse corporate management and business ownership experience. He's received the following awards. Who's Who Among Asian Americans, the Gale Research Incorporated, Who's Who in California, Who's Who Historical Society Asian American Achievement Award, Organization of Chinese Americans, Amigo de Sur Award, Amigo de Sur Jobs for Progress in the United States, Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, Los Angeles District Directors Award, the Golden Apple Award, and Northwest San Gabriel Valley Administration Association. I give you Mr. David Lau as one of our presenters. Not to be left behind is Cece Lau. Now this woman is a force of nature. In the late 1980s, she started working a lot in small theaters in Los Angeles area. She was cast in the famous Joy Luck Club, playing the leads of two moms in two different productions. She now has over 70 movies and 70 credits under her belt and continues to pursue her acting roles. Over the years, she has been in, appeared in numerous television commercials, Marriott, Apple Music, Southwest Airlines, and more. She is a YouTube sensation as playing a mom of the Fung Brothers in a 14 episode of Things Asian Parents Do, and the first episode <laughs> had 7.2 million viewers. And her most recent achievement includes 2021 Best Supporting Actress, Ariel Award winner of the film Los Lobos. I give you Susan. So Cece and her husband, David, will present the Labo Awards to Karen and to Paul.
congratulations to you both. And Karen, if you and Paul would please please remain and then uh, give us a little chat, we would appreciate that. So it's a great honor to be a part of this receiving award as well as other award at the uh, we are really proud to be part of uh, Laban, the Laban, the fine work that, that, that they do. And, uh, my wife is a lot better speaker than I am, so I just say thank you. And thank you so much more. <laughs> We love you, Joy. We love you, uh, Princess Karen. Uh, we love Lava. We, um, you know, being a musician, uh, being an artist from China, the first goal for me is my dream to make a bridge, to make it, you know, the music, art, and uh, make this world smaller. So Lava is the bridge. I find a home. So, and wow. today. <laughs> Today, it, we're really honored to receive this award. Basically, actually, it's a putting a little bit of weight on our shoulder to make this world better and to, to present you know, our art to this world and make the world even better. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Thank you both so much. Enjoy your day. My wife is going to speak on No, no, no. <laughs> well, she's pretty hot looking too. I mean, you know, she's gorgeous. Thank you both so much. I'd like to introduce Debbie Zhao to you. She will be receiving an award this evening. She's also been so instrumental in helping us with Get Lava on Its Feet, and she is a sponsor with the United States Art Bank for the Los Angeles and Beverly Arts. Could you come forward, Dr. Debbie Zhao? Dr. Debbie Zhao is a contemporary artist herself. She's an educator, entrepreneur, and philanthropist who is well known for her charity work and generosity in helping others. She says her goals are to spread art with heart and embrace the world with love. Dr. Zhao holds a number of positions in the business community, including chairman of the United States Art Bank, the CEO of the American Artists Association, President of the American Cultural Chamber of Commerce and the American Academy of Arts, President and CEO of the Hollywood Film Group, Chairman of Apollo Entertainment Film Group, CEO of American Art Group, which is a holding company, and Founding President of Hope and Diamonds Lions Club and the CEO of Hope House. I am so proud to call you my friend and we are so honored to have you with us. Congratulations. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Baby. So I uh, have the first time that we meet together. Uh, I'm so glad I can be here. And thank you, Lava. I think everybody is hungry, so I want to take a show. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Debbie. And by the way, her beautiful daughter is our trophy presenter this evening. So the apple doesn't fall from the, from the tree. We also have an award for Angela Liu, who works in our Chinese office. And Harrison uh, will be accepting for Angela Liu. So Angela Liu is in our China, China office, and she is instrumental in so much that is done between the Chinese office that we have and the United States office. She's invaluable to us, and I just want to say it's so great to have someone like that working with you, not for you, but with you. She is an extremely good communicator, She's brilliant and talented, so congratulations to Ms. Lou. Thank you. 
That was short and quick. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Job. We have Laura Angelini, who's been with us many, many, through many events. She's so talented, and we love her so much. For those of you that do not know Laura Angelini, she is a national Billboard Top 40 recording artist and philanthropist who is making a difference in the world through music. And I think one thing that we can all agree on is that to bring the world together, it's art and music. Those are the two things that are going to bond all people of all races, of all countries together. Her first single, Share That Love, and What the World Need Now is Love, reached number 36 on the Billboard Dance Chart. And it will also be part of a movie soundtrack this year, and Laura will be in the feature film. She is the founder of her charitable foundation, sharethatlove.org, which is an advocate for other great nonprofits around the world, providing resources and awareness for people, wildlife, and our environment. Laura Angelini was honored with the 2020 President's Volunteer Service Award Gold Medal for her philanthropy and community service. The Honorable Linda Evans, Mayor of La Quinta, California, presided over the President's Award Ceremony and also declared it Laura Angelini Day. As part of the ceremony, she was given numerous awards from La Quinta, California as well. She recently received an honorary membership into the Royal Society of St. George for her worldwide philanthropic efforts. And Laura also has the distinction of being named the first artist ambassador for Shelterbox USA, a two-time Nobel Peace Prize nominated nonprofit organization that provides shelter to people around the world that have been displaced by conflict and national disasters. Laura has been featured on the cover story of CBI Magazine, August issue highlighting her philanthropic endeavors and her music. And I am so proud to call Laura Angelini my friend. Congratulations. I'm the only one uh, the princess winner, uh, a words of presenter because I help a lot of people, oh, uh, professors, uh, brothers uh, to replace. So I give this to Laura Angelini. Wow, well this is uh, quite an honor and I'm, I'm so grateful and honored to be here this evening amongst all these other amazing artists from near and afar. And, uh, Music really can transform and heal the world, and that's why I started, decided to start what I'm doing between my recording artist work and my music and philanthropy organizations. So it's wonderful to be here. I'd like to thank Laba for honoring me with this award, and, and Karen, thank you so much. You're such a dear friend, and Joey, thank you. I so appreciate this. Thank you for all the love, and let's all get out there and share that love with arts and music. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Laba. Thank you. We have a winner that's not here this evening. Her name is Homera Goldstein. And accepting the award for Homera Goldstein will be uh, Todd Williamson. I'd like to read a little bit about Homera. For those of you who have never met her, Homera Goldstein is a descendant of the Qatar royal dynasty in Persia. She is a world traveler, visiting international contemporary art, a philanthropist, an, art, an artist in vision and in nature, She's a multi-talented force, and she's dedicated herself to the creativity and arts. She is an avid contemporary art collector, and Homera Goldstein has built an unrivaled reputation championing national and international artists promoting art and culture in South Bay and the greater Los Angeles area. She is the chairman, board, chairman of the board of Time for Art, she has envisioned and presented 33 art exhibitions as well as many art conversations, music, and dance concerts. Homera Goldstein was honored as a 2002 Woman of the Year by the United States Congress, State Senate, State Assembly, County of Los Angeles, City of Torrance, and City of Manhattan Beach. She is absolutely amazing. 
and duly deserves this award. Congratulations, Homero Goldstein. Thank you for accepting for Homera, and I know you know her very well. If you would say a few words as well. Homera is um, a wonderful art supporter. She has an organization in Manhattan Beach called Manhattan Beach Art Center. And she not only supports artists directly, she uh, puts on exhibitions. She flew to Venice for me to, in support of an exhibition I did in 2019. I know she has supported both the other artists of the year. Um, she is a dear friend and a great supporter of the arts, which is it's such an important thing as we move into 2021 and 2022. So thank you again. You're welcome, you're welcome, and please give her our best and our love. I'm sorry she couldn't be with us this evening. And if you ever see Homera Goldstein, when she walks into a room, everything stops. Is that right? It stops because one of the most elegant, talented people you will ever know has entered the room, and she commands the presence of everyone. So my hearty congratulations to Amira. Please give her our love and thank her for her support as well. Tonight Harrison Engel will come forward with I Come and Sorry and Joey Zell and they will read the list of our artists. Uh, right now, we cannot read 150 artists and nominated and finance to everybody, but we'll read the name of the representative of the artist to people. All right, here we go. Uh, bear with me, please. Um, uh, Dionisio Cimarelli, Joshua Elias, Catherine Ariane, Joe Davidson, Petra Iko, Ar Ar Ariel. Vargaso, Mison Pei Yang, Miguel Osuna, Vicky Walsh, Catherine Ruan, Lisa Schulte, Rande Matashevitz, Katie Ruiz, Devin Sono, Jonathan Paul, Daisa Ong, Marcia Suzuki, Roman DeSalvo, Petra Iko, Ariel Valdasso, Mison Pei Young, Richard Magran, and Jane Sheldon. Congratulations, all of the we cannot read it, but tomorrow from tomorrow we will send this uh, certificate participation to all the world. This is a Chinese, so I read the name to everybody. Or some from oh, from Asian country also. Okay, number one, Mr. Janet Huang, Daniel Lo So Sang from Malaysia, and Mr. Jun Tan, and Mr. Zhou Xu, some from local local Chinese uh, artists, and uh, Mr. Xin Xiong Wang, Mr. Hao Yue Tan. Uh, Mr. King Ho Ding from Florida, uh, Mr. Xiong Feng from Los Angeles, Mr. Shui Tan, Mr. Wen Kang Xie, Mr. Gui Xun Xu, Mr. Wei Zhou, Mr. Han Shang Zhao. So all we send it tomorrow.